Hello everybody, keyboard stands is a topic to my heart's like. It's always nice to optimize your studio or improve your life appearance and I discussed it a lot and also used many many models during my live playing or also in a studio. First let's think about what might be the criteria for such a keyboard stand or for multiple keyboard stands and the first question you should ask yourself do I want to use it in a studio or in a live situation only a rare amount of keyboard stands can be used for both or make sense to use both so this is something to consider in the beginning the most important thing is definitely stability it should not be shaky and also if you have heavier synths it should not simply break down and also if you're in a live situation Situation, someone hits your keyboards and it should not just yeah, crumble down and your expensive keyboards will crash on the floor. Next question should be how many synths do you want to put on it? So it's only one, is it a heavy uh, electric piano or is it just a little remote keyboard? So these are the things to consider. Next thing is positioning of the keyboard. Can you adjust the height, but also the depth? So it's very rare that you can also adjust the depth. Sometimes the issue that you yeah hide parts of your lower keyboards, for example, and also tilt is a thing. So can you tilt your keyboards on a stand or not. Leg space is important if you use pedals, so for example, expression or sustain pedals. So this is also something to consider that you can reach them easily. Expandability, for example, if you also need to attach a tablet or a laptop or you want to sing, so you need a microphone or in a studio, you want to attach your monitors as well to the stand. Design is something to consider for life. It should look great, but also in a studio, if you look at it every day, it should also not be from the ugliest parents. And yeah, price is always the thing. Can I afford it or not? And there are some specifics for the life situation. Stability I already talked about, but in a life situation, if you play the weirdest stages, which are shaky or not even, so there are some keyboard stands who support uneven ground, especially if you think if you have four legs, it's always problematic to have them really stand straight. And definitely time to set up is very important for life. You cannot have one hour time to set up your keyboard stand. It's should be uh, at least in minutes and yeah very very important point and you need to bring all your stuff to your gig so transportation what is the size do you need a bag or not and what is the weight of the keyboard stand i will go now through the different variations of keyboard stands and i pick these criteria i talked about i will not discuss design because everyone has different opinions about design and also price i will leave out because different types are available for different prices as well and uh, yeah especially with keyboard stands is uh, still good quality costs more and i think you should definitely not go for no name or cheap stuff um, you will definitely buy it twice or even three times if you buy such things for example i have one my microphone stand is a very good quality KM one which i bought when i was 15 and i use it still and if it's solid it will work for you a lifetime and I have just three categories it's great and it's okay -ish or it's problematic so let's dive in. First one, very common one, are the so-called X stands because they simply look like an X. And sometimes you have them with this double variation, which is a little bit more solid or the ones. And there are many, many different variations. With, and you also get some extensions for that where you can place a second or sometimes even a third one, which gets then a bit shaky. And the more sophisticated ones have some kind of food here at the bottom which allows you on an uneven stage to improve the stability a bit and this is pretty helpful. So what is the verdict here for rack stands? Stability is quite good or is very good if you use it with one keyboard. If you have two or three it might get pretty soon shaky. Yeah many sins you're up to three sometimes so if this is okay for you then this will work. Positioning is uh, quite often problematic because many of them cannot be 
tilted or you cannot adjust the depth. Hate is normally not a problem, but it might also conflict a bit with the leg space if you change the height because then also the X changes. And also something to be aware of, if you have small keyboards, you might need to make them very high so the small keyboard fits on there still. Expandability for some, you can get microphones, but uh, yeah, that's basically it. Time to set up is very, very fast. Basically put in one screw or just pull a handle and that's it and you're ready to go. Transport is okay. They fold together, but they still are pretty big and consume some space, but nevertheless they are flat at least. So yeah, also some kind of okay-ish here. So next one is the more towards the studio situation. So desk stands. You can also even get them now from some companies with electric movement so we can move them up and down which is yeah in the studio pretty helpful to not sit the full day and in a live situation the best ones fold like this on the right but this is still a bit clunky so you might need to get a bag for that and but with a bag it might be okay you can also get any many options for such things especially here now the new black panther model black panther system is the name of the company models can be extended crazily. You can add here monitor stands, laptop stands for your drum machines and everything. But as you might imagine, to set this up in a live situation is a little bit complicated. So stability is great with such uh, desk systems, also for many synths, as you see here in the picture. And positioning is also very good, especially the Black Panda can also adjust it in the depth, which is very rare with such systems. And it's the only one I could really bring in a position that I can see my full lower keyboard. Expandability and also leg space is very good here with these models. Issues are with the time to set up. If you have only the small models for one keyboard, maybe it might be still okay. But nevertheless, they're also pretty heavy and big and clunky. So this is more towards a studio situation. Pretty similar area are these so-called set stands because they look like a set here or a C as they say in America. They have the drawbacks, I think, from both things. So a bit clunky and hard to set up for a live situation, but they are also not so nice in the studio. And as you see, if you fold it, it's also pretty, pretty clunky. And I would prefer a desk, I think, for the studio. A very special stand is the so-called V stand, which you only get from Ultimate. And there was a Roland version as one once, I think. I have also one. They are great if you have only one keyboard. You can adjust the height for that. And But the issue with these is if you need to have a second level, this gets very, very shaky. So yeah, they are great if you have one heavier electric piano. I always use them for acoustic gigs where only bring an e-piano for that they are great also transport it folds pretty small but you definitely need a bag because it always tends a bit to unfold and don't underestimate the weight because the lower feet are very very heavy they are very solid metal and yeah it weighs quite some kilos to sum up here stability is okay for one for one electric piano many synths definitely know going more than one synth is very shaky with these models positioning is yeah you can adjust the height but also that's basically it you have very good leg space uh, also with this v on the ground not much expandability at all time to set up is very quick and transport is also okay if you don't mind the weight so next one, column stands, the very famous Ultimate series, the Apex stands, uh, is you see them still quite a lot on the stage. They look really nice. They have one issue, it's leg space, as you see here in that picture. I also did it like this when I played Apex Live to position your sustain battle a, a little bit to the side, but that's not so nice to play. But nevertheless, they look really, really good on stage. I would not use them in a studio because adjustability is problematic. 
And another column stand is the Spider from K&M and it's a little bit more flexible, also more leg space, but I sold mine because I think they are very, very shaky also, especially with, with heavier keyboards and very good is expandability. You have lots of options. You can go up to four keyboard uh, levels, also holders for notes, for laptops, for tablets, also for microphones. Uh, there are several available options drawback for that is that the time to set up gets complicated because you can only fold in two of the arms and the rest then needs to be removed and you need to fit them then in a live situation and yeah this is a bit problematic as i said the apex one which i also played a long time live which you see in the picture is very good with the spider i think it's very problematic yeah many since is okay so you can even go up to four but then you will hide the lower since definitely so i think may yeah, are three maybe but but it's more uh, towards two uh, leg space is okay with the spider but also with the spider it's a little bit limited to move in your food in that area time to set up is pretty fast until you have lots of these extensions you see here in the image then it gets also complicated and takes a bit of time and transport is also okayish if you use use only the standard stuff. So next one is keyboard rack. So these are if you need to hide and position many, many keyboards. So these are definitely targeted in the direction of studio, but also in the 80s, lots of keyboard players when you still had to carry many keyboards to your gig to have a good sound blade the version you see on the left first setup takes a long long time until you have positioned everything but if you have your stuff in place also for life it's quite okay they are pretty lightweight and fast to set up but transportation is still an issue what also is worth mentioning if you need to reposition your keyboards or move them around in the studio you can also get that here with rolls and you can move that then easier around also the model on the right here can be adjusted in a depth which I was not aware of, which is really cool. So as you see here on, on the top image, you can move that more to the back. So you can uh, adjust them a little bit better than here on the left ones. And they are also tiltable to your hearts alike. Some examples what you can cram off such things. You can even expand them as crazy as you see in the left image. You can also have more keyboard holders on the left of such a stand. And here on the right one, you see that you can adjust these models in the dev as well. I have also Jaspers here in my studio and there you see also that you can adjust it pretty excessively. For example, the 2600 on the right, the blue one is tilted very heavily and I did a little trick with the expander, the Roland XP5080 that I put one of the bars to the back so you can get some dev as well. Summing up, stability is great with the Jasper systems especially you can add many many things to that positioning is also great leg space is very good there's many free space at the bottom expandability also lots of options available for that system and yeah time to set up at least at the first time it takes a long time to configure everything but if when it's set up then it's also quite easy to put it down and put it up again but transport due to the size is still an issue the last category is costume stands. There are companies, for example, like Gibraltar, which provide normally drum racks, but they have a very cool system where you can configure basically everything to your hearts alike. And they also have a great YouTube channel where they also show how to set up a specific keyboard stands and how to tweak them. And they're really, really adjustable. And they are the only ones I know where you can tilt the keyboards toward the audience which is really cool for life the drawback with these is they are quite heavy this is one of my setups i had for my individual totem project and uh, yeah as you see i also tilted the keyboards towards the audience which i think looks really good and people can finally see what this keyboarder guy is doing there and as you see in the left picture i also attached a laptop and also even a, a little drum setup on the right and this is all on one keyboard stand and yeah it's also pretty quick to set up also first configuration 
transition time to set up takes a long time till you have adjusted everything to where your hearts are like. But then with these clamps, it's really fast to set that up again because they remember the position. And uh, yeah, I will not go into that detail. You can check out the YouTube videos. They have many, many advantages. Uh, they are quite pricey. So that's uh, the drawback for that and a bit heavy. So you definitely need a suitable bag for these things to transport. And yeah, you should not be afraid to carry a bit of a weight. Poo, so this was really a long video. And to sum up, just maybe just give you some pointers to brands to look into. I think the four most common ones are now the KM, which is very solid. This company exists for a long, long time, very good stuff, but also some things which I do not like. So, for example, the spider is a bit problematic, I think. But nevertheless, you should always check that out for yourself because there are also a lot of people who like the spider. The Jaspers is especially great for studio setups and a new kit on the blog also a german company is black panther system which have now these nice studio desks with many many options and i have one of these as well and pretty flexible and like them a lot and you read also many many good reviews in the internet so you should definitely check that out ultimate is also a company which is for quite some time on the market and they have very specific solutions like the v-stand or the apex series which is it looks pretty cool everything on stage so their stuff is more for for live situation and also very very good quality then there are many special students where keyboard or synth manufacturers provide specific solutions for specific keyboards or synths so you can get them in the package especially roland and yamaha doing that quite often so this is also something worth to consider and as I showed Gibraltar, so it's also worth to look into solutions which are not necessarily intended for keyboarders, but uh, for example, here, drum uh, rig uh, builders is a very, very nice option for very flexible stuff. And really, I would stay away from no name stuff because definitely the quality in these things, they always lack in some areas. For example, the screws are not good or they break or whatever. There might be still also good stuff in that area for example if you only need a simple x stand but you should definitely have a look and check it out yourself if it's really okay -ish to put your expensive keyboard on a cheap stand I hope this was helpful for you to get this big picture about keyboard stands and their possibilities. And I'm still trying to learn more about these things. And I always are surprised that are solutions I did not yet think about. So if you have other tips or ideas or things I should know about, please tell me down in the comments. Or if you have pictures from your setups, I would also love to see them. And until next time, make some funky music.